Angelo and the Brighton Bar. Mike and Sean. With all respect to Richard Dweck, the lights are on, but ain't nobody home. I kid, I fool, that boy is such a tool. He was my comedy god, Caprio. He was? Yeah, until he put Sarah Silverman and Conan on his Mount Rushmore. Oh. <laughs> First of all, Mount Rushmore, you only get four. <laughs> I tried to squeeze 50 minutes of basketball stuff into five minutes the other week. I didn't get to say, how do you have a basketball Mount Rushmore without James Naismith and Red Auerbach? Right? That's how founders and growers work. Right? It's not your four favorite or the emojis that get you feeling some type of way. Miss Dweck told me, she said, you can call me Kathy or Mrs. D. Yeah, I was like, emoji? Like the eggplant? Like, like dick? Oh, dick, like Richard. I was like Richard Dweck. Dick Dweck. Dick Dweck Goose. Silly Goose. Kanye is a fucking silly goose. Y'all see they got Pepe Le Pew Pew Pew. Shut him down, right? They still don't care about old rapey Miss Piggy, though. <laughs> they don't care about that one. I don't even care. <laughs> they got Mr. Potato Head and the Muppets. Even the new Tickle Me Elmo comes with a consent form. <laughs> Sign right here, buddy. Poltergeist was the one that got me. I didn't like Large Marge. Tell them Large Marge sent you. I didn't like that either. But Poltergeist was the one that got me. Uh, the idea of some, uh, the TV being alive, like some shit, like, because I watch a lot of TV. Yeah, I haven't watched it since. <laughs> Remember that time when we were in Vietnam picking up chicks? Everyone was looking for Charlie. You're like, you're like, take cover. <laughs> like, so. Even though uh, Dane Cook stole the tearaway pants thing from me, I used to do that in my improv day. Over to Second City, yeah, he stole that shit. He, he's a dick on stage and off stage, but in real life, I've seen him be nice to everybody, which is the complete polar opposite of most people in Hollywood, right? They say nice things, and when you see behind the curtain, a lot of diddlers, a lot of diddlers. Right. <laughs> Y'all see the Oprah interview? The Meghan Markle? Yeah. That was almost as embarrassing as when Tom Cruise was jumping up and down on her couch, yeah. pretending to be straight. That interview wasn't even the worst thing on TV. <laughs> that honor goes to the All-Star game. Yeah. Right? They should have just played a game of horse or something. This fucking, <laughs> fucking horrible. Y'all think I'm kidding about that Truman Show shit. If 1% of Hollywood told the truth, the whole thing would crumble. But they're all cowards. They'll wait 20 years. Or wait till their beauty phase and they can no longer leverage that to get a role because they already gave it up for... Not everybody, but they're all cowards. You know what's smart, Angela? Like, really smart. Anal swabs for a respiratory virus. You control people into just about anything. I get them scared. I did find out, though, that anal swabs are the cure for loneliness. <laughs> but... I changed the programming in my phone, said, hey, Siri, it's now Kit, I need you. <laughs> Some glitches, though. It's just Hasselhoff carrying on. He was the only one available for the VO. <laughs> if you want a seat at the table, pull up a fucking chair. Right? Instead, we live in a world that would rather kick the legs off the table and watch everything crumble. That's what you get to eat, the crumbs. Right? We'd rather drag people down to our level instead of pick ourselves up. I got beef with Angelo, beef with Tim Razor, Dweck, B. Croft, they can all get some. <laughs> yeah, you let them people come in here and tell five minutes worth of shitty jokes and talk over everyone else's set and then walk off like they're something special. Suck the life right out of the room with them. Tim Razor. No, the other, well, Tim Razor, because he's like, oh, I got a fucking gun. I got to go to the other mic. Dweck and beat Croft, they'll fuck them. <laughs> Especially Dweck. Fucking kid. A 
AOC accuses everyone of cat pulling, and she's the one who's like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> she's never had an open discussion or debate with anyone because she's scared of ideas. I wonder what accent she used when she auditioned for that role. Like, which one was it? Hey, Pete, you know how I, that you know that all the school shooters are dumb? Oh. None of them waited for assembly day? <laughs> Man, just me, huh? The blueprint, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to cut that one out, but that's how you know. They, none of them are smart enough to be like, hey, if I wait for assembly day, they'd be lying, right? It's all simple. I know this is sexist and shit, but I'm still gonna open up the door for the bitches. I love all the bitches. <laughs> Happy International Women's Day. We don't deserve y'all. It was like, fuck Dr. Seuss. He's a racist. <laughs> he ain't even a real doctor. <laughs> well, neither is the first lady. And her husband separated more black families than anyone in American <laughs> history. <laughs> Not named Anthony Johnson. Suck a dick, yeah. I started a new company for when we open up the borders. It's a Uber Boats and Rafts company. We just pick you up. We just say y'all come out on here. Yes. I'm gonna have to change the name. Just throw out like. Where's Rob 80 been? Y'all know Rob 80? Yeah, where's he I ain't seen him in a while. Rob 80. Or as I like to call him, Rob 280. <laughs> Maybe 380. Fuck if I know. He might be an alpha, but he's definitely a bottom. <laughs> y'all talk to the cooter like some of y'all talk to babies. I'm like, coochie, coochie, coochie. Coochie, coochie, coochie. She's like, you're such a big boy. I'm like, that's weird. That's fucking weird. And a lie. It's a little bitty. Puny and pathetic. My pecker is so small. Black people would have been like, how small is it? I love you, brain bar.